Hello, we're absolutely thrilled to have Richard Clippen, the CEO of AFA, Association of Financial Advisors, with us today. Hi, Richard, how are you? Hi, Rachel, thanks for uh, the opportunity to chat to you. No, thank you. Richard, can I ask, given the changes facing the industry today and in the future, what advice do you have to business owners to ensure they embrace change? Uh, Rachel, look, you know, if, you, if, you, if, if we just put on the, um, the rear vision mirror for a moment and look back over the last few years, it's been a time of intense change and intense scrutiny. Really, um, the, the marketplace, um, financial advisors, have been a path of, uh, on a path of change uh, really for the last decade to get their proposition really clear out to their client base. Uh, but, you know, at the end of 2007, when uh, the, the pretty cold winds of the GFC started to blow, um, what we start to see is um, a whole bunch of uh, stresses come into the system and uh, advisors who, uh, who perhaps were investment focused um, started to see clients' uh, portfolios going south and going south at a rapid rate of knots. Uh, we saw uh, insurance specialists um, starting to pick up uh, and, and write business uh, as, as the Australian community kind of headed into a cocoon type of environment uh, where risk uh, and being risk averse uh, was absolutely the virtue. It's now 2010, so the last three years have been really difficult. When you add to that failures of STORM, failures of the MIS programs, um, enormous amount of, of government uh, reviews and uh, intended government change, um, obviously mm. it's meant that advisors are, you know, have had to navigate some very, very choppy waters. Mm. Richard, can I ask, what five major things do you believe makes a successful business in today's times? Yeah, look, I don't think really the essence has changed at all. Uh, it's been very clear about who your client segment is, very clear about the service uh, and offer that you deliver to them, ensuring that you absolutely do deliver, uh, give good value for money. And, uh, you know, some of the recent research that the AFA has conducted has really given insight into what consumers are valuing, and that is the sense of, advisors helping and empowering them around uh, clarity around their financial future, uh, the piece around coaching, there's this piece around the clarity and focus of purpose, uh, what, are you, what are you doing and why are you doing it, uh, as well as having the technical skills to absolutely put the right portfolio or the right insurance contract in place. And uh, like all of us, um, you know, clients want to be looked after and, uh, and as far as the remuneration piece is concerned, you know, they want value for money. They want to know what they're getting. They want to know what they're paying, uh, and they want to they want to know that there's good value in that whole uh, in that whole uh, process. Mm, perfect. How do you believe, um, Richard, financial advisors can improve the culture of their industry? Look, I think um, the culture is actually really strong. Uh, I, I think the you know in this industry, obviously, we've had uh, some bad eggs. Um, it, we are in the money business and. We have had our share of, uh, of, uh, of fraud and traumas and dramas, and unfortunately that's gone to tar the entire industry really with the wrong brush, I think. Um, what we need to do is to acknowledge some of the failures. We need to accept responsibility, even though it perhaps wasn't us. But we then need to move on and say, look, uh, the role of financial advisor is critical in helping consumers to achieve their financial goals, get clarity and purpose in life, secure their family and their business's future, and things like that. And I think it's, it's about focusing on the positives. Um, obviously, uh, there's, a, there's a whole bunch of government uh, review taking place on this very topic uh, around the perceptions and some of the conflict pieces. But I think advisors need to stand tall and they need to stand together and they need to be proud about what they do uh, because what we now have is very strong consumer evidence for those people that get advice, uh, absolutely value it, trust their financial advisors implicitly, and I think it's those building blocks that I think we need to uh, work, work further on. Absolutely. The last question, Richard, for today, if you can picture 10 years from now, what do you believe the industry will look like? You know, Rachel, the, the issues around the marketplace are, in, in a sense, exacerbating. We've got a, an Australian population that's ageing. We've got an Australian population that's generally undersaved. They don't have enough money, whether it's in super or non-super. They generally don't have enough insurance uh, to protect uh, for the worst, uh, uh, the worst happenings if they happen to, to, to come your way. Uh, and generally, uh, they're under-advised. So if you, take, if you take the broad issues facing the Australian community, 
from a financial perspective, uh, the financial advisory industry is absolutely well placed and I would argue best placed to serve and to solve some of those national issues. So the industry of the future, uh, 10 years time, whilst we've probably got another two or three years of reasonably choppy water, uh, as we as we see some of the government review uh, pieces come into come into play, I think the long term uh, and indeed the mid term is is very optimistic and filled with opportunity, uh, because we know Australians do need help. Um, practices, uh, you know, will be probably larger than they are today. They'll have corporatised model models. They'll have specialist advisors who can deal with specialist requirements uh, for their clients. Um, and I think uh, I think this. Um, focus on the long-term nature of the relationship, serving that long-term nature um, and, and in a sense having an agreed contract with a client so that not only at plan time but on an ongoing coaching basis, there's a very strong relationship between the advice practice uh, and the clients that they look after. Perfect. Wonderful advice. Thank you so much, Richard, for, for sharing today. It was um, absolutely gold. So that was Richard Clippin, the CEO of AFA. Thank you very much, Richard. Thanks, Rachel. Bye for now.